What's going on everybody? It's your boy Frost BBM from I Am Visuals and I hope you enjoyed that car animation and it's not as difficult as you may think. It's actually a really cool uh, plugin. Well, it's not even a plugin, I guess. It's a, uh, it's a blend file. It's some camera movements that were created by Cam and M3D, which you can find in the Blender Marketplace. I'll leave the link below inside of the description. But let me show you how simple and easy it is to create these uh, camera movements for that cool speed ramp effect. Let's go. Let's dive into it. So as you can see, we've already got it. I've already selected this area. So we're here. And first thing you need to do is go into your preferences and then to add ons and then add check for camera rig camera and then add camera rigs check that and then save your preferences that's the first thing you're going to need to do the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to append our uh our blend file from can anim so i have mine in downloads and you're going to pick the insta reels file click append go to action I hit A to select them all and then append. The next thing you want to do is hit shift A, go down to camera and add a dolly rig, a dolly camera rig. Now, this is where the action is going to take place within your camera rig. So next, let's add a vehicle. I personally use car teleporter or, um, traffic i really like traffic because it's got really nice interiors but car teleporter is really cool too because you can open the doors to your vehicles you can do a lot with it um let's see let's go for a lamborghini and let's do let's do the yours and i'll click add car and just like that it's in the scene uh Another thing that you need to be mindful of is that your vehicle is facing frontwards. So as you can see, our vehicle is facing forward. So that's a good thing. I personally would suggest if you need to make any adjustments, uh, select your hierarchy and then move maybe, you know, your scene around opposed to the vehicle. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to need, let's make two scenes here. Let's make one for us to be able to move around freely. And then let's make this one our camera view. So on this side, I'm going to just hit zero to bring up my camera view. And if you want to go for the real, you know, you want to have that ratio for like reels and Instagram and stuff like that, you're just going to go come here into your output properties and switch these two values around. So it'll be 1080 by 1920. And now you'll have this view. Okay, the next thing is, let's remove our gizmos and, and all of this stuff right here. Um, we need to split this and bring this down. In order for us to use the files that we appended from the Cam Anim project file, we need to come down and go into Dope Sheet. And then inside of Dope Sheet, go to Action Editor. And now you'll find all of your cool uh, packs right here. Everything is right here. You know, you've got character, object, or vehicle. Normally, I, what I should have done was filtered when I, when I did my append and just wrote vehicle so I didn't have all of these options. However, um, if you want to switch something out or you want to do things, you know, within this project file, it's also cool to just have all of them in so you can come in and do what you want. Um, let me see. So another thing, if you want to find out what music 
goes to each one of these. You can go on a Cam Anim 3D Instagram page and go through his reels and then create your own, uh, like save each file and have your own category so you can go through and, you know, see which ones you like. So I know for a fact I'm going to do, um, where is it? Finesse. I'm going to do finesse one time because I know it's short and it won't take a long time to render. But I, I've clicked on finesse. Wait, I'm sorry. Make sure you have your dolly rig selected first. I'm sorry. And then scroll down and pick um, whichever animation that you would like to use. So let me go down to finesse again. Finesse vehicle. And as you can see, everything has been squared up. So let me put this on solid so we don't slow our computer our rig down. Let me also change into cycles. Uh, my noise on optic, denoise on optic. And just like that. Now, as you can see in this instance, it's not lined up. So in this instance, I will hit G and slide my vehicle into frame. Uh, you can put on motion blur if you choose. I also like to go into my dolly rig, click on my camera, and then add depth of field. Take this picker and then just select the vehicle. And it's really just as simple as that. Next thing you'll do is you'll go into your render uh, properties, right? Render properties. Yeah, you're going to your render properties and then you can adjust your max samples depending on how clear you want it. I typically do uh, 2048 and then I'll put my noise threshold up to 0.5 or one, one's fine because it just renders quicker. Like for example, if I click F12, You'll see that. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Frost BBM from I Am Visuals, and I hope you enjoyed that car animation. I'm sorry. I don't have my device. GPU compute. So now make sure you have your cycles and GPU compute. And now let's try it again. You see how fast that was? Opposed to if we do 0 0.01 and then do. Hold on. Okay, now you see the difference if I change it to 2048.01 and then hit F12. I mean, it went quick. However, you saw how fast. It went nine seconds this time. And uh, if we do point, if we just do one in F12, let's see how fast it goes from nine seconds to three seconds, 3.5 seconds. And then there's not very much difference in the quality. So I prefer to use um, the, one, the setting of one. Also, another thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna create a sky. I use scene skies, but you can use any HDRI that you choose. Um, I just really like scene skies. They're really convenient, as you can see here. Um, I get you get a nice collection and selection of skies that you can actually manipulate and, and move things around. You'll go into uh, your render view and then you can see the result of the sky. I probably want to put some grass down, but for the sake of this being a tutorial, I'm not really going to do that right now. But you can actually just see. We've got clouds, we've, you know, we've got everything that we need. I actually may place some grass around the vehicle for the final result. I think it'll just be, it'll look better. But that's pretty much it. After this, you guys will go in, you'll select, you'll go back into your uh, output properties, your name, find where you want to put your project at, name it, you know, place it there, accept. And then all you're going to do now is click on render animation. And that's it. Simple as that. Oh, one more thing. Let me show you something. Inside a dolly camera, 
if you decide that you want to do anything or change anything or do anything on your own, you just need to come into uh, select your, your camera, I mean, select your dolly rig and control tab, control tab to go into pose mode. And from here, you can manipulate your camera. You see? And this, this gizmo right here pretty much is where the camera follows. So if you were like using a gimbal or anything, um, if you were using a gimbal or something like that, this would be like lock mode on your gimbal. And it's your camera, no matter which way you go with your camera. Let me see, I'm sorry. Uh, so for your camera, no matter where you go, as you can see, it's going to always stay locked in on that location. It's like a lock feature on your gimbal, so it's really cool. So this is also how you'll be able to make your own. Oh, that's cool. Coming through the fence like that. I like that. Uh, coming through the fence. See what I mean? So you can also make your own. You don't have to use the presets, but you know, get creative as you choose and as you possibly can be. It's not going to hurt anything. It's just going to enhance your ability to create. So how was that? You know, I hope you guys really learned something and took something away from this walkthrough of the Cam Anim 3D project file. It's only $30. I'll make sure I leave the link in the description below. But you guys should now know how to utilize this asset as well as have a general understanding of how the dolly rig and the camera rig uh, add-on works and you should be able to create some really uh, cool movements of your own to make your own projects unique. So please tag me as well as Cam Anim 3D in any of your projects that you create as a result of you watching this tutorial. Also like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Currently only at 300 subscribers but hopefully with your help and me being consistent, I, I can grow my community and we can all learn together. So as usual, stay positive, stay creative, and let's go. It's your boy Frost BBM. I am visuals.